Hi friends, I am currently under my magnolia tree, which is a little bit like being under the mistletoe, except, well, okay, maybe Joanne Gaines kisses under the magnolia instead of the mistletoe, do you think? One reason that I fell in love with this house is because it has not one, not two, but three magnolia trees, and they are big and bushy. The previous owner, uh, rest in peace, she has since gone, but she planted these trees back in the 70s for Christmas. Like her main mojo for planting the magnolia trees was for Christmas decor. And I just feel like we're kind of a kindred spirit and that I should honor her memory by using the magnolia leaves that she has gifted me in my Christmas decorations. So. I'm getting ready to get some of these leaves and some that we have trimmed, and I'm going to make some stuff. Join me. <laughs> tree has got a second part to it back there at a thrift store. I didn't particularly like the Frosty the Snowman hat on there. Um, so all I'm going to do is pull it off and redonate this and just use this adorable little tree that I found on our porch. these matching wreaths at Habitat for Humanity Restore for three dollars each. I just didn't like all of the red apples and things like that. Things that look a little bit fake like that holly. So I just spent about five minutes taking all that out and you can see it looks so much better already. favorite crafts that I made this year are my snowy little houses. I picked up a few houses at thrift stores and they are all different colors and shapes and everything but that didn't matter because I wanted them to be all white and I think they are so charming. I love them. I'm actually wanting to do all of my bookshelves next year and maybe even create little book scenes like settings from different books make them into snowy villages. I think that would be so fun. And all I did was just paint them white. And I actually tried the little pottery trick, faux pottery, where you put some baking soda in paint. And it definitely gave it texture. It definitely looks more snowy, I guess. But I don't think it translated as well as it would have on like a vase. So I just put a little textured 
baking soda, white paint on there, and then sprinkled glitter on while it was still wet. And there it is. I love it when I find craft stuff at thrift stores because it makes me feel less guilty about buying a bunch of craft stuff that I never make the crafts with. Um, so when I found these big honking spools of yarn, I said, those bad boys are mine. I have a really cool thrift flip in mind for these, but I actually already used them on a little Christmas craft. It turned out really cute and was so fun to make, so let me show you. So in case you did not know who the dog bone stocking was for, I added Joy's name to it, and that way we can tell that this is all yours. What do you want your stocking? Do you want a bone? Do you want a treat? Do you want to see my ball? <laughs> do you want Ivy in your stocking? Do you want to go to dog park? <laughs> So she has a stocking, and then Aaron, and then me. All right, Miss Joy, it's craft times. You ready to have some fun? <laughs> we are gonna make an advent calendar. $4.99 Goodwill find. I don't really care for the style of the covers here, but I love the concept of it. I'm gonna put little trinkets in there and little things to do for each day leading up to Christmas time. right in the mouth. <laughs> that looks like it's about to spill all over the top of me. Be good to get this on film. Third degree burn from my crotch. <laughs> Alright, we are going to make an um, Christmas countdown, also known as an advent calendar. I was new to this. You know, so. <laughs> so I made, you know, a little craft I made with the little boxes. Mm -hmm. um, each day, we're gonna have something little, and it's gonna help us make Christmas special. So why don't they call it the adventure calendar instead of advent? <laughs> well, that's cute. One, play strip poker. <laughs> no. Play a word game. Um, drive around, look at Christmas lights. Try to find snow. Make. A festive drink. An advent of name for it. Plan a fantasy trip to London in Christmas time. We've always wanted to go to London at Christmas time, or I have. That's when I, I'm not dream time to go to London. Um, and we haven't made it yet, but we were there in October. And they were already getting holiday plans in place in early October. Yeah, I wish we could have stayed. I imagine they go all out. We gotta get back to our bed. Yeah. Watch our favorite Christmas movie. What is it? Watch the holiday. <laughs> yeah. We have done a home exchange. We've done multiple home exchanges. Mm -hmm. We'll do a vlog about that because that would be a good one to do. I bet people are interested in that. Like real life, the holiday. Oh, watch Home Alone. So you put these in the boxes, like? Yeah, I'm gonna top them out and I'm gonna put them in the little, and then each day we open a box and see which one's in there. 
Okay. And you try to do it? Yeah, you do it that day. So when do you open the box? I mean, like in the evening or morning? Well, if it's on the weekend, we'll probably open it in the morning, but if it's on through the week, probably in the evening. They're not fun at 4.30 in the morning if you're trying to go to work? No. Call family, make plans, or? That's like a chore. This is supposed to be fun. Call the family's not fun. <laughs> we, can call, we can have call family on it, but not like to make plans. Call an old friend. Well, you know I'm not going to do You can. Call my girlfriend. No. <laughs> What I know your favorite Christmas movie. What's that? That right there is an RV. Christmas vacation? Yeah. Yeah, Clark. We're actually living in that RV. <laughs> I kind of want to live in an RV. Cousin Eddie had it figured out. Yeah, he really did. Made sausage balls. Alright. Now, some of y'all may not know what these are because for some reason in different parts of the country, y'all call them meat cakes. I think sausage balls are much more appetizing. <laughs> they are so bad, yet so good. Yeah, I mean, but you, you can make, you don't necessarily have to put sausage in. You can just have like, you can put Bisquick and cheddar in there together. If you're looking for meat, well, even vegetarian <laughs> options. <laughs> so. Nobody's gonna make a sausage ball if they're a vegetarian. These are supposed to be fun things. Fun things. Ooh, go foraging. Take a walk downtown. Uh, the next one say Aaron plays guitar. Ooh, play Dolly Parton's new Christmas album. It's delicious. <laughs> I was just trying to think of you know like. The season of giving and things and do you want to take joy bell and do a donation of the humane society that'd be good all right so we got 24 this has got to be the this has got to be the coup de, de gras the creme de la creme the mardi gras <laughs> what word did you say before i don't know gras means fat it's coup de gras a word <laughs> Will you have me a gift by the end? Uh, <laughs> I'm, you know, it was a pandemic con. Right <laughs> That's why online shopping is at a peak. I'm going to do my best. <laughs> I made you a list. I made you a list. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to type these up and I'll put them in a link in the show notes too so you can get uh, print them off if you want. Then we'll do a countdown too. Make it fun. You can still have fun right now. I mean, just just have fun with it. Just one little thing a day, make it special. You didn't even know what this was until I told you. Hey, I, I have had been all year long. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get up there and I say, what fun things can I do today? <laughs>